Hey guys, so in this video we will be creating the word mutation. We will have the poll option ID as our argument and we will return true or not if everything goes ok. And another thing is the users who have not logged in can also vote on this uh, specific poll option. And what we need to do is we need to save the IP address of the user and we will check if the IP address um, has been voted on this specific uh, poll or not. So how we are going to proceed is we'll create a mutation first. So in our poll resolver, let's copy this mutation. So we won't be needing this use guards. Let's change this name to vote. Uh, we won't be needing this user ID as well. So for the arguments, we'll have the poll option ID and here we will say poll option ID and let's change this to a number and for some reason let's restart our TypeScript it's been acting slow I think this is the problem ok let's stop our server first discard this scheme over here let's go back we start our TypeScript server okay so what we'll do is um, create a vote service so let's call this vote um, we'll pass in and also we need the um, context as well to get the user's IP address so we'll say context let's import context it's imported already so context is coming from my context the types and so we'll pass in um, context and another thing that we'll pass is the whole option ID so let's create the service I mean the word function in our service so let's create the function over here async vote we get the context from my context and the poll option ID is a number and what we are returning is uh, a boolean and let's first what we we'll do is uh, let's try to update our vote so let's do um, Await this, await this dot poll option repo dot um, update. So, how we are going to update is through the ID. So, we'll get the poll option ID. And the second one, what we are going to update is the votes. And another thing is, uh, we also need to get the previous votes as well. So, what if the option has been voted already by somebody else? So, for getting the previous votes, and we need to add another vote. So, so it should look like votes. We'll get the previous votes, and we'll add one. So what we need to do is let's say const poll option is equal to await this. Let's start um, poll option repo dot um, find one. We find one. We find one where the ID is poll option ID. So now we'll get the votes from the poll option, poll option dot votes, and we'll add in another vote as well. So now the vote has been incremented. And for taking care of the user's IP address, what we have to do is um, we need we have we'll be having the same key because if you take a look in our Redis database. Let's take a look. I mean our PSQL database not Redis voting app select star from poll underscore option for some reason this fish shell doesn't show me underscore okay should be options not options 
okay now you can see um, we have the IDs and the poll ID so what we need to do is the if the user updates the votes on hello and if they try to um, vote again for world so we should not allow them to vote on this second poll option so we need to somehow get the um, different IP address will be in same keys so our keys will be the poll ID so the poll ID 14 will have different IP address under it and we need to check whether the um, value exists in the key or not so to do this I found this SAD so what SAD does is we can have the same key and different values so our, our values will be the IP address so if you are adding a new value it will return 1 and if you are adding the same value again it will return 0 so it won't be added so if you say s members my sets only hello world will be there so we'll use sad in our redis so let's um, over here after this I think it's after this yes so red await this await redis dot sad so Redis has been imported for us automatically so we'll pass in the poll option dot poll ID and we'll pass in the IP address so to get the IP address let's say const IP address is equal to you can get it from the context dot request dot header and the header is named um, x forwarded dash 4 and if it doesn't exist in this header we'll get it from context.request. Um, connection dot remote address so this remote address is for I guess it's for getting the local host most probably and this is for getting the IP address okay so either way we need to check if the IP address exists in this IP or not so if it does exist what we have to do is we will return false so that's how we will check if the IP address has voted on the specific poll ID so we will say if IP after getting the IP we'll say const um, has IP let's call it has IP we'll use so for checking this IP address exist in this um, ID or not it, it is a sys member so we'll say what sys, sys member does is if you say sys member the key and the value will return one so that means the value exists and if it says if you pass in the value another value too and if it doesn't exist it will return zero so we'll say um, redis so let's await this redis dot this member pass in the poll option poll ID and pass in the IP address okay so this error is coming because we have not made into a string let's make this a string so we can do a string literal like this This is a string literal. Let's copy. I mean, read it here. And how this is going to be saved in our Redis is the poll ID. So if we take a look in the poll ID, it's 14, 15, 16. So we won't really understand what's happening in our Redis database. So for that reason, we'll add in a prefix. So let's. Um, create a prefix so in our constants let's create a new prefix let's call this um, poll option id and let's um, say poll option id so this is a, our prefix is going to be in our edit database so we'll add in the prefix over here 
call option ID. Thing we'll add in the name prefix as well, so we'll be explicit. ID underscore prefix. Let's go back to constants. Add in the name prefix. For that, now over here, let's say it has IP. So if ha if has IP is true, so that means it it is a member of this key. So if it's true, we'll return false. And if it's if everything goes okay over here, we'll return true. Okay, so that's it so we'll take a look for recapping let's recap what we have done here so for what we have done initially is was we are trying to update the votes so for getting the previous votes um, we found we pass in the ID and we found the previous votes by the poll option and we were passing the poll option dot votes and now what we have to do the second thing was we need to add the IP address with the poll ID getting the poll ID and so what we did was um, we found this SAD function so it could be a member so if it is a member of this um, specific key will return true that means we'll say um, something has happened it'll return false so in our front end what we'll say is um, the user has already voted on this option so we'll do that in our front end if it returns false so if everything goes okay, we'll return true. So let's start our um, server here. Let's go back, take a look in PSQL. So the ID is 14. So poll ID is 14 and our option ID is 21 and 22. So let's take a look in, let's go back to um, PSQL, I mean Postgres, uh, no, I mean uh, GraphQL slash GraphQL 3000 slash GraphQL. So let's check the um, ID is 21. So here we'll pass in the mutation, vote, poll option, and the number. So 21. Press play. So we don't really have to log in because um, not logged in users can um, vote as well. So we'll press play over here. So it's returning true with no problem. Let's go back. Let's take a look in our Redis CLI, and we just do key star. Now we are getting poll option ID is 14, and let's take a look in PSQL. It's 14, it's 21, and another 14 is 22. So if we try to vote on this, it should return false. So 21 and 22, right? So 22 here. We press play so it returns false that means only a specific poll id can be um, voted on let's take a look in redis cli so 14 that's it nothing has been added extra uh, this was me trying to fix this before some error has come up so that is it guys thank you guys for watching